Welcome back into our Twin Cities Live living room. Even though your backyard isn't covered in a blanket of snow, I know we're all a little disappointed. Today, we're taking you to a place that's got plenty of the white pow pow. Ah, we want you to have the best winter yet by getting out to experience the thrill of downhill skiing and snow tubing. So a ski hill just outside of Rochester, it's now open for the first time in 16 years. Oh. Reporter Kristen Havrick is taking us to Steeplechase. No. So this is a great spot to, to find some good white stuff, huh? Yeah. yeah. Oh, there you go! I, th I think tubes are for butts. Ah! Okay, <laughs> good luck. Oh my god! <laughs> so Justin, what's really cool is that you grew up coming to Steeplechase. As a teenager, were you snowboarding on some of these hills that we're standing on? Yeah, our family used to come out uh, and then back in high school snowboarding and then we actually raced a little snowmobile um, back in 2003. Fun! So kind of some family history from a long time ago. Yeah, but then this place kind of fell dormant. It wasn't used for a number of years, almost 20 years. Yeah, the ski hill shut down in 2007 and uh, we're reopening it this year for the first time in 16 years. So it's kind of exciting. Woo! So I have found photographer Seth's daughter, Willa. You're 10 years old now. Yeah. You're gonna be passing me up uh, in a few short weeks, probably. Your height is just awesome. Um, okay, so you've already been down the hill. A lot. What is it like? Describe the feeling. Um, at first it's kind of scary because like there's a drop, Ooh. but then it's just flat. One, two, three, go! So your first season of running the skiing and the snowboarding with the snow tubing, you've invested so much time, so much money, and then we've got Mother Nature totally out of your control, but we are having one of the most unseasonably warm winters in Minnesota. Right. That has to be devastating for you. How have you faced these challenges? So yeah, we got we got snow tubing open for our third season on time, Thanksgiving weekend, and even there it was a bit of a struggle with the warm temps coming and going, and then the whole time we were making snow. So we actually got the ski hill open on time for our opening date in December, and then we lost two feet of snow from the rain. Wow. That was a bit of a setback, but we got- And what did you describe like the rain? What does the rain do to the snow? You said it was like So a... rain at cool, cool temperatures isn't a big deal, but when we had rain at 55, it's like a blowtorch. It just oh. melts the snow so fast. Oh. And so, uh, yeah, we're basically not starting over, but we lost over half our snow. So we'll be back open this weekend for skiing and snowboarding, mm -hmm. but we definitely got just two weeks of work <laughs> removed. No way. Should we spread out some snow? I don't know how to get in there. Can you give me a boost? Jump on <laughs> in. All Watch right. That. Here we go. Watch your toes. <laughs> Was there a big learning curve to figure out how to drive this thing? So I had two and a half days to build the tubing park the first year. <laughs> so <laughs> I had to days. learn, I had to learn quite fast because we didn't really have a choice to get it open. Yeah. So. Yeah, we even had two feet of snow through here that we park them on. Okay. So we can plug them in at nighttime and like, we're back to grass. Man. We made snow for about 200 hours and over half's gone. <gasps> so 100 hours just wiped away, but we got guns back out last night. Next week looks really good. So we've already started making a lot more snow. So we'll get things back to 100% soon. Yeah. But it's definitely been a rough start to the oh season. Oh my God, but I, I love your perseverance. This has to be a really fun part of the job for you. Yeah? I love it. It's one of my <laughs> favorite parts. I know there's some times where we have to groom through the night to get open where you kind of start to get a little tired. Yeah, chug some but... coffee or something energy drink and keep moving. We shoot for a two to four foot base all over. Just this year <laughs> is uh, taking a little longer to get there. Definitely the warmer weather doesn't have everyone in the mindset yet. Yeah. So I know the next few weeks looks good. So turnouts, I think will keep getting better and better. Sure. But the holiday break was good for tubing. Okay. Just now we need to get it back on the skiing. <laughs> Should I give it a try? Yes. yes. Okay, what are your tips for me? Um, just try not to fall off. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Here we go. It's just people having fun. It's such a fun environment. So we put a lot of hard work into it. But it's really rewarding when people come out and you got families laughing, making memories. Oh, no. We got people. 18 wheeler coming Company through. Company coming. <laughs> 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 
think you were like going through. So much fun. Kristen, great job. Kristen looked great out there. That was I know, good, I like the little outfit she was wearing. Good little suit she was yeah. wearing. You can also rent gear from Steeplechase, and you can enjoy food and drinks in their chalet. For more Ooh, information, chalet. you can head to TwinCitiesLive.com.